Answer to this one is 23. Answer to this one is 48. Until the bell goes off for this one. Answer to this one is 4. Six will go into twenty-four four times, and into eighteen three times. These cancel out to leave an X on the bottom, and these just cancel completely out. So it's four over three X. Answer for this one is X over Y. Okay. Stupid. I knew the problem. Answer should be twenty X to the sixth. For the homework check, if you didn't get it uh, for today, that's fine. You can turn it in next week, two weeks from now. That's fine. You can turn homework in late. But I put Algebra 1's homework on the, the screen instead of this class. So if you don't have it, it's, you can still turn it in late and get your 50 points. But if you have it, you can bring it up now. The percent for this one is 14 out of 20, which is 70%. For those who did have credit for their homework, including homework passes, you can pick a number from 1 to 20, and I'll pick 5. All right, the winning numbers for the homework lottery will be 2, 5, 9, 12, and 19. Fast multiple choice. I need block letter only. <laughs> answer should be B. Here are the homework answers. Whoa, hello. For number one, it should be 7x minus 5 and 4y plus 3. You said it's okay if you flipped, right? Right. Number two is a plus eight and four b plus three x. Three is nine a plus eight and five b minus nine x. Four is five x minus seven and four y minus five. Five is seven x minus ten b and two y minus a. For number six, it's six a plus one and two b minus five x. Seven is seven x plus one and two y plus nine. For number eight. It should be what's in green, which is 2a plus 7x, x plus 1, and x minus 1. Notice that you have an x squared minus 1 here, which can still be factored. It's a difference of two squares, just like the fast multiple choice. For number 9, it's 7x minus 2 and 3y plus 1. And number 10 is 7y minus 3 and 3x minus 10. Any of these problems you want to go back and see the work for. Here's a quick review. Say the answer out loud. X over Y is right. 2x. 2x. 2x squared. 2x squared. 30x to the 4th, y to the 2nd. X 
squared over y? Y over x squared. Oh, okay. Just x. Two x, two over two x, or is it two x over two? This is just a two. Yeah. So it would be two over two x. But this two x is on the top. Okay. So it would be two. Where'd you get four at? You had two left over here from this cancellation. This oh, way. Oh, so then you multiply across. Yeah, because they're both on the top. Yeah. So it would be 4x. Oh, yeah. 6 over 6. Yeah. All right, everybody pick a number from 1 to 10. The winning number is 7. Oh, for real? All right, here's example 1. What two terms are you going to start with? Five and ten. So we'll go five AB minus ten AX and then obviously these back two. Since this is plus, you just put a plus sign here. And three B minus six X. What comes out of the first group? Five A. If I take a five A out, what do I have to multiply by to get back to those two terms? B and minus 2x, right. On the second group, what comes out of both of them? Three. Just a 3. So what do I have to multiply by to get back to those two items? B and minus 2x. B and minus 2x. So we have the same item here and here. So the answer is 5a plus 3 and B minus 2x. Example 2. What two terms are you going to start with? The xy and the 2by. Okay, so we'll use the front two again. And then we'll group the back two. Now this has a minus sign for the first term of the second group. So you put a minus sign down, then your parentheses. You're doing the opposite now of minus 5x inside, which is 5ax. Or I should say the opposite of minus 5ax. And the opposite of this one would be plus 10AB. Very important to do that. If you don't, you're going to miss the rest of the problem. What comes out of the first group? Four. Just a Y, and what am I left with? X plus 2B. X plus 2B. And then what comes out of the second one? 5A. 5A, and what am I left with? 2X. No, X plus 2 X plus 2B. X plus 2B, and these are the same here and here. So the answer is Y, uh, not minus 5, but yeah, Y minus 5A, and then X plus 2B. Try this one. For the practice problem, I'm going to start with uh, something different. I'm going to start with 9xy and minus 3ax and then go with minus 6by minus 2ab. I can take out a 3x on the first group and be left with a 3y minus a. And on the second group, looks to me like I have a 2 and a b that I could take out and be left with 3y minus a. So I do have the same items there and there. So 3x minus 2b and 3y minus a. Here's a bonus. For this bonus problem, x plus 2, x plus 2 cancel out diagonally, so you're left with x plus 1 over x minus 1. Here's another one. These cancel out, but 
the only way you could reduce this and this is if there's something in both of them you could factor out. What could you factor out of both of those that would cancel? Mm -hmm. How are you going to take a 2 out of x? Oh. Ah, cannot do that, so it's x plus 2 over x plus 4. Here's another one. This divided by this is 2. Once, can you explain that? Yes. I can factor out from this a 2 and get x plus 3 that's left over. Remember, that's over x plus 3. So these cancel out. You're just left with a 2. Pick a number from 1 to 10. The winning number is 10. Practice 2. On the practice problem, there's several different ways you could go, but we'll just go this way. We'll do 4xy minus 6x, and then 2y minus 3. You can take out a 2x and be left with 2y minus 3. And 2y minus 3 is, you can't factor that out, but what number is to the left of the parentheses of the second group? 1. It's everywhere. So it's 2x plus 1 and 2y minus 3. A bonus problem. Alright, you can factor out a 4 on the top and be left with x plus 2. Those cancel out, so your answer is 4. Here's another bonus. Well, you can factor out a 9 on the top and be left with x minus 3. So that cancels out. Answer is 9. Block letter only. Here's another one. On the bonus problem, you can factor out a 10 on the top and be left with x plus 2. You have an x plus 2 on the bottom, so those cancel out. Answer is 10. On the top up here, you can factor out a 6 and be left with 2x minus 3, which cancels with the bottom. Your answer is C. For this one, you can factor out a 5 on the top and be left with 3x minus 11, which cancels with the bottom, so the answer is A. On the practice problem, you can start with 2xy minus 3x, and then 8y minus 12, and you can factor out an x and be left with 2y minus 3, and then take out a 4 over here to get 2y minus 3. Same terms there and there, so x plus 4 and 2y minus 3. On the bonus, you can factor out a 2 on the top and be left with 2x minus 5, which cancels with the bottom. Answer is 2. Is this the right homework? I'll go with